What's up, everybody? So I was planning to do a video on this whole uh, idea of the politics. The Lord gave me a message, a mass message on, you know, Biden, Trump, politics as a whole, like the parties and what we should be focusing on as far as what lines up with the word of God and what doesn't. Um, and international warnings about France and Russia. Now, before I upload this whole video, I feel like this is essential for me to get out now. Um, I don't know why this thing is turned on. I'm sorry. Um, so back in September, I did a message around the time where God first started having me become a messenger and do videos. He had me, I, I and I deleted this video the first time because I said, Oh, I'm acting on faith and I was unsure. And, you know, I was just starting off as a messenger and the Lord told me like, don't do that because this could affect people's lives. You know, he gave me a whole father talk on that. Um, so why now, all of a sudden, I see, I haven't checked news articles in God knows how long. Why do I see a, a headline saying a Russian analyst threatens France with missile bomb or missile strike? The Lord had given me a vision. So this is what I'm going to add into this piece before I show y'all the original words on on this whole France thing. And by the way, when I first started doing those words, for some reason, it was hard for me to lower the music and the actual videos. I don't know what was going on with my editor, but I updated it like a while ago, but it was just not processing them, just rendering things the way that I was putting it. So just listen to, to it the best you can. OK. Um, and I, oh God, I, I just pray. I just want to say a prayer because I don't want this to happen to people. Before I continue, I pray. Oh, I didn't, I'm so baffled that I didn't forgot to tell y'all to test the spirits. Make sure whatever you hear, take the word back to God. Please do. I need everybody to pray on this situation that this does not come to pass because in part of that video, the one thing that I have put in uh, uh, wording was that if people repent, repent and pray, um, that this may not come to pass. I need everybody to just pray for people, my people. I don't know if I got people watching from France, but please, 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 please be careful because the Lord informed me of like the Eiffel Tower months ago. The Eiffel Tower will get hit by France due to France's tension, long lasting tension with Macron. So I'm going to just try my best to take all the pieces. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for getting me to save everything on this hard drive because I have everything to my disposal. And I can also show y'all the um, the dates and stuff like that on certain videos that I'm going to be using in this drive. Oh, God. I Okay. Dear Father, I pray that people in France that have been doing the wrong, that they repent and that they pray and seek you for guidance. And that anybody, if this attack do come to pass, that anybody, this message reaches people in France before anything happens. I know people like to tour. I know people like to travel. I pray that people just hear this message and be wary. I don't know what day God never tells us, but I don't want this to come to pass. I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen. And I'm praying to God, the Father today, that I just pray that these that the people, your children, people who are lost come to you and seek you and get rid of all this witchcraft Oh, my God. It's one thing when I hear things from the Lord, but it's a whole different thing when things I'm seeing stuff being put out. This hasn't happened, of course, and I'm praying it doesn't. But the Lord warned me back in September. I'm just trying to keep myself come together. OK, I want to explain this part just in case I don't think I have it or I'm missing it. I just want to explain one of the visions that God gave me a while back. OK. And I want to explain it without the music playing and stuff. I just I want to get it out clear as possible. So just bear with me. I'm kind of all over the place. I don't want this to come to pass. 
I feel an urgency and it's just, I really don't want people to die and get hurt. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But the Lord kept telling me judgment was coming to those in every part of the which way, all these areas. So don't be surprised if you see me getting out all these words and just trying to get everything out that I've been recording what they do. But Jesus, people, please, please, please go to prayer and seek the Lord. Um, The Lord told me, not just told me, but showed me a vision. I had a vision of me being underground and I was underground in this place. I don't know. It was like a bunch of tombs, I, I, whatever. And I seen these figures in hooded outfits. Like they had the roll bone and they, they had hooded outfits on. I could not see their face and they were surrounding this table. And I will never forget this. I was trying not to make no noise. And then they, I, I made a little noise. They heard my footstep and they began chasing me. And I was running from these people like in this underground place full of tombs. And it was like these people were chasing me. It was like they were wizards, witches, whatever they were doing. I could tell they were doing something dark. And they caught me as I ran. And I was just trying to get away. I was yelling all types of stuff. And they was they took me to this table. And they were ugly. Like they their face, when I began to see what they were, they were ugly. And it was it freaked me out. I never forget this. It freaked me out. And they was holding me down on this table, this altar, whatever the heck it was. And the next thing you know, the ground. So since we're underground, the ground caved in. The ground caved in. And um, it was like the the ground, the pavement, whatever, the rocks, all that stuff. That was the ground was caving in on. It was hitting these little witches, wizards, whatever they were, witchcraft. They they were getting hit by the rocks and they were trying to run away and getting smashed by the rocks. And I was free. They Of course, I got let go. And when I looked up above me, I could see a clock when the clock was ticking. It was like this big old clock. And then I look on a kind of on the other side of the clock and it was the Eiffel Tower burning and falling over in flames i kid y'all not and i and the clock was ticking like time is is coming it's coming and boom the eiffel tower on fire falling and this warning that i did was to the gaming world like i was trying to tell people that traveled was traveling to france i didn't know in the season that god was trying to tell me just in general, that it was going to happen. And again, I didn't say the date or anything, but I was just warning people just in case. I was saying, hey, there's a tournament for this game in Lyon, France. And it's happening in October 1st. It was a place called The Mix-Up. And it's happening on the 1st of October and the 2nd. And the Lord pointed me to this tournament. I had no idea of that that gaming schedule for the tournament. And... The Lord had pointed me to it and it said Lyon, France. And I was like, what? So that was God confirming to me the vision that I had. I'm going to play this for y'all so y'all can hear it for yourselves. But I want y'all to, I just want to give y'all that little brief covering to make sure I don't miss anything. Because I'm, I'm trying to, to like, I'm trying to keep a sense of peace, but I feel urgency. So just bear with me. Ooh, so, yes, that was 2022. I was speaking on that, the mix up October 1st, the second and and in that video, I had told people don't quote me because again, I don't know if God was showing me, um, this is what I told them, by the way, I don't know if God is telling me it's going to happen October 1st or second, but those that like to travel, please be careful. Lyon, France is not that far away. I don't know if God was just pointing me to France in itself, the tournament, because it was in France and, you know. But don't don't take my word for it. Just know that God told me there will be an attack on France and my people in France. Just please pray. Those that are doing wrong, repent. Please get closer to God because this is he's not playing. And he was explaining to me how the the tension between Putin and and uh, what's his name? Emmanuel Macron would get worse and worse and worse as the months went on. And I would pay attention to these articles. And it did. It's so many things that I've done prior that I have to cover before things do happen because I, I need to warn people now that I have the following. 
a lot of people didn't care about the messages I did on my other channel. This video probably got about 100 views, 120, 121, maybe 130 views. Nobody gave a crap. So, oh, God. Let me just get into the video, okay? Uh, different pieces to show you guys what he was telling me last year around September, October-ish, November season, okay? <sighs> okay. Thank y'all for, like, listening to me, kind of. <laughs> I'm not trying to give a sense of fear, but, like, I'm, I'm just trying to keep my composure because I'm seeing stuff happen. So here we go. Leave it at that. But that led me to, as far as the Tekken part, I don't follow Tekken tournaments and stuff like that, but that, for some reason, I kept hearing Tekken 7 Tekken. So the Lord wanted me to look up the Tekken tournaments. And then, he, well, he said Tekken 7, I ain't see nothing. I was like, what do you mean? He says tournaments. And I'm like, okay. So I saw a world tour ending in Lyon, France, which is 288 miles by drive at least. Probably a lot quicker in other route or other uh, ways of transportation, but that from Paris to Lyons and and the other way around, 288. So if an attack happened, you know, that's not far. And I know a lot of people like to travel if they're already there from a different country, they're gonna go to the tourist attractions with the Lord. I'm not, he didn't tell me when this was gonna happen. So it's only specific cases when it gets close, he likes to give time. He didn't give a time for this. He just said it's gonna happen. And he pointed my attention to the tournament schedules. Now, that is October 1st and October 2nd. It's a, it's a two day event for Tekken 7 uh, World Tour and Friends. I don't know when this attack is gonna happen. I truly don't. So don't, you know, don't say, oh, I said it's gonna happen on that date or those dates of that tournament. Cause I, I don't know people, I really don't. But for some reason he just pointed me to, oh my gosh, it's all coming together, y'all. Cause I said that in a whole new video, a different video, and I took it down for some other information being in there. So basically what I was saying about the Tekken part, cause y'all I'm recording this the day after recording uh, the message and warning to content creators. Um, the Lord is basically, he said that people's passions in Tekken, be careful, or in the gaming world in general, the passion may lead them into unknown danger. So I don't, like I said, I have no idea what that will mean for different people. I don't follow Tekken, y'all, a tournament schedule. I don't follow it. So it was very strange of him to do that. And it, no coincidence, it said Lyon, France. So, and for my people in France, or people that like to travel that's planning on going there, I'm guessing this is just a warning, man, to have people be wary and be careful. Because see, if I didn't say this, and then something happened next month, and people went in, and somebody lost their life that needed to hear this or was supposed to hear this, that would fall back on me because the Lord told me to share this. So I'm just doing what I'm telling, what I'm being told to do. I guess I'm gonna, we all gonna find out. Again, as a messenger, I don't know everything. I just know what the Lord wants to share. I don't know how it's gonna happen. I don't know when it's gonna happen necessarily all the time. And I don't know who is gonna be, who gonna be affected. So, um, yeah, he wanted me to add this piece urgently into this message. Okay, so I just wanna talk about two things that have not come to pass, but the Lord gave me confirmation that they were coming to pass, okay? And I'm going to pull up this article real quick when it comes to the France-Russia thing. I did make a video, I'm just gonna put the title or the thumbnail, whatever one I decide. <laughs> At the moment, I'm just recording right now. But basically, I warned of Russia being attacked, or France being attacked by Russia, excuse me. And I talked on that. I'm not even going to get, you can go back and watch it. But basically, this article of Putin, what did he say? Yes, Russia warns France about unacceptable arms deliveries to Ukraine. 
Now, this is what the Lord said. I'm going to actually speak to y'all about this relationship between uh, Emmanuel Macron and uh, Putin, okay? But this article right here is going to be the very thing that pushes Russia to the limit with France. And in the physical world, that's what's going to lead them to attack. Now, I already explained it in the video from God's perspective as to why this is happening to France why the Eiffel Tower is going to get hit. Um, again, I, I hope that it doesn't come to pass because I don't want to see people that don't deserve to die, die. But a lot of times out of 10, you know, if you ain't somebody that follow God and seek direction, people like, that's how people, whether they're good people or not, that's how they end up getting killed in these situations. That's just the truth about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, basically, when it comes to uh, Macron and Putin, their relationship, the Lord expressed to me, was a very rocky relationship. It was like fire and ice, okay? And the reason I say ice is you got a fiery Putin and an icy Macron. And... I, okay, I'm going to give you all detail on what he showed me. I saw their faces, and it was like they were both in the office on a phone call, okay? And basically, I could not hear words, but I could see Putin was really kind of just going at Macron a lot while Macron was trying to be calm and 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 de-escalate the situation. And they had this relationship of... Putin is very like aggressive and he's kind of getting he's getting tired of Macron because he kind of Macron Macron is putting himself in a very very weird situation with Russia with this whole Ukraine thing and basically with him doing this arms delivery that was Macron knowing like at some point I'm going to get hit that's what the Lord is saying. He he has an idea that like Russia is on. It, he's about to do something, so he's starting to take little jabs at him before he does it. He's getting more bold with the situation, but at the same time, it's like. But yes, he said it was a fake friendship, fake friendship, fake friendliness, not friendship, fake friendliness. Russia getting tired of him and just want to do what he want to do, but Macron keep kind of trying to settle him down but throwing shots at the same time so he icy he like that ice he like real cold he being cold about it um he do have points but he's doing things and putting himself in a situation where he he know he gonna get hit he know it so he he's kind of like i'm just gonna do this and do this you know he's saying little things about and they phone calls and of course, I didn't hear the phone call, y'all. But the Lord's like expressing to me, he, it's the way that they their relationship is is very rocky, and that is what's this whole Ukraine Russia thing is what's gonna get France a hit, okay? And then another thing that I want to talk about that ain't come to pass, but it looks like it's starting to come to pass because the Lord has directed me to the beginning phases, basically with this whole currency change.